Hey guys, how you guys doing? Um, it's been a while since I posted a video. Been doing odd things here and there. But uh, what you're looking at is a new project. If you look at my past videos, I had two pulling tractors. One was blue. It was a narrow frame. And I didn't like it. It was just where the frame was spread apart to... Um, put a bigger engine in it, it was, it was just such a shoddy job, and I tried to fix it, and it was just, I couldn't save it, so I found this one, and, uh, I got this off of Mr. Cub Cadet, he's a smart little kid and loves Cub Cadet tractors, so, uh, he has a YouTube channel, so if you want, if you want to go over there and check him out, you know, he has a few videos on there of his tractors, he has a really nice, uh, diesel, Cub Cadet, so uh, I have to thank him for uh, having this. So this is what it's going to turn. It's going to be a wide frame. It's going to be just like that one out there. It's going to look like and everything, but of course different colors. I haven't really done much for that one. It's still half primer, half crappy paint job. So, but it runs. So it'll get. I'll get around to it one of these days. But I just want to show you this. And then also, I know I'm getting more projects I can handle, but I got this one the same day. I don't know what year it is, but it's a Sears LT10. And I think I'm going to make a little racer mower out of it. Nothing major, nothing professional. Something just to tool around with and play with. So, I don't think it's going to change much right now. They want to maybe lower it and swap pulleys on it and probably put a different steering wheel on it but uh that's probably what i'm gonna do with it i'll show you the grill what it looks like i took it off but if you can get an idea that's what the front of the grill looks like like i said i don't know the year of it, it has a 10 horse briggs in it so it's not bad i had to put a new fuel line in it and this sat it was in my grandfather's garage for Oh man, long time, long time. So I don't know how. I think 15 years, maybe. Yeah, it had been 15 years. He couldn't find belts for it anymore, so he parked it in the garage. Well, lean to, and never started up since. I put a new fuel line in it, and I'll fire it up. So let me get a screwdriver, and we'll start it up. As you can see, it needs a little uh, carb adjustment. Probably a whole rebuild. But, you know, heck, that's even the original spark plug still. Not the original of the tractor, but the one when I found it. Made sure it spark, had plenty of spark, so it runs rough. It stinks, but just running rich. Need to get a new uh, carburetor kit and put in it. But, uh, yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. Something to play around with. Took the tires off, they were shot. You see where it sat for so long and actually cracked them. But you'll have that. And you know, it's 
10 horse. I'm going to swap pulleys out in it. I don't know if you can see back there, but this trains axle. i got to figure out what kind of trains axle that is. Maybe uh, do a rear, lock the rears in it. But uh, I watched uh, Fearless Front's uh, videos, and uh, he showed how to do one, but not that kind of transmission, so I might have to get a hold of him and see if it's the same thing or just take it apart and find out. So, But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, just hanging out, doing a lot of just crappy stuff, you know, there's part of the tractor there sitting there. I need uh when I took it all the way apart, I found that it needs new gears in the rear because they are shot, wore out. But uh, I'm going to sand this down. And depends on what kind of color I'm going to paint it. Don't know yet. And then we got the hood there. And then those piece I told you guys. It's the same as, you know, the one over there. And then I'm going to try to fabricate that dash tower to fit on there. Or I'm just going to go get one. That's actually made for wide frames. But it pretty much fits. It's just... The bottoms are a little different. So, and here's that other frame. I sitting there, I cut it in half, and I can still it's still manageable. You know, for not for pulling though, it's because SP. I mean, stock frame, and if I weld together, it'd be all right. But you never know. I can use that for something. So, hi right, guys. I'll uh, keep you posted on what goes on with this. Uh, I'm gonna call it the series racer, and then of the rebuild of the. Cup Cadet Pulling Tractor, so I will talk to you guys later. Peace.